Hello, hello, welcome back. This is Didyard speaking from the Open Wardrobe Gang, and welcome to another episode of our blind playthrough uh, of Sword and Sanctuary. At this point, I believe, at least considering the number of episodes that we have, uh, we are already in the double digits, so that is definitely nice. Mm, what we did in the last episode, we did a lot. Um, we've thoroughly explored the Hager's or Hager's cavern uh, and defeated the boss of the area, um, the disemboweled husk, if I recall its name correctly. Um, that was uh, Hager himself, um, who was controlled or manipulated, puppeteered by this small uh, and peculiar doll. Mm. What we'll be doing today, you might ask, is, and I already can hear you saying, oh no, you are back in the red hole of cages. Yes, I am back in this cursed place, but we'll be leaving it shortly uh, in order to explore that one dark area with the starry sky uh, in which our friend, our adventurous friend, was standing after we had defeated the Kraken Worm. That's where we are going in this very episode. But before we even do that, let's level up. Because uh, why not? And because otherwise I will find a way to lose all these, so all these souls, all this salt. I, I, I meant 9k in order to get another level. It's getting tougher and tougher. Definitely. Tree of skill. Uh, yes, we are moving towards... Oh, that's nice. We can get class 3 sword fighter that will give us 2 points of strength, but more importantly, uh, the ability to wield two-hand class uh, three great swords and class three swords, um, and also one-hand class two great swords. So that's a different category, apparently. So that is going to be awesome. I think this is fair to spend the two black pearls that we have towards it. We are moving up towards classified sword fighter, and after that. I am not sure. Definitely more endurance um, nodes, but I don't yet know which ones. Maybe these ones? Hmm. Well, we will see. We will see. So, let's venture forth. That guy, uh, that adventurer was standing right here. Complete silence, uh, interesting atmosphere, the starry sky up there with comets or falling stars appearing um, every few seconds. Um, if I remember correctly, this was the shortcut that we unlocked that leads just back to the red hole of cages. You can see the clanking um, of chains down down there we don't want to we don't want to go there and hopefully we find something noteworthy here i hope this is a separate location and not just a dead end if it's just a dead end that whole introduction was uh, pretty misguided let's look for hidden walls too no hidden walls yet No enemies, no music. It's getting spooky. And we are going down. Castle up up. Interesting. I don't know how to understand that message. Are we going back to the Castle of Storms? Is this a wraparound? Oh, another one of those mists that I believe we'll be able to interact with with another brand. 
secret brand to the left. Yes, I think this is a confirmation. My suspicions and predictions were right. Okay. Get some stairs. Get a chest, more importantly. Yuzu Udawa. What is this? It's definitely an armor set. Probably of Japanese origin. Sohei Kesa. Beautifully dyed tunic of a warrior pilgrim. Monks exist in most major faiths, but this particular tunic is in the Karhi style. Ah, yeah, it's cool looking. Um, what about... So, I well, I'm a little bit uh, surprised that it is a pilgrim outfit. Tabby, sturdy leather boots worn over the beautifully dyed uh, trousers of a warrior pilgrim. Some faiths associate vibrant colors with excess and vanity, but in Karhi, uh, holy culture, color is celebrated. That's nice. I like colorful stuff. Um, and bracelet of masterfully carved tenari or wooden balls. Each tenari or each, each tenar represents an ideal for its wearer to meditate upon. Hmm. Class zero light armor. But look at the strike defense. The strike defense is outrageous, truly. Better than what I currently have, but look at the. Um, Slash, fire, lightning, and everything else. It's very si situational, I believe. And you get the music playing in the background, that's nice. Oh, let's, uh, let's uh, read one entry from the bestiary. Yeah, bloated monstrosity, an ogreish, pest-ridden, drowned brood. Yeah, when I initially encountered these guys, oh, I described them as ogres, and that was apparently uh, accurate. Drowned Bandit. We get most of the drops out of this guy, but no wonder we've killed 78 of them. The drowned corpse of a common highwayman, reanimated and renewed as the marauding villain. He formerly was in nearly every way. Court Sorcerer, yeah, we've encountered those. Uh, a drowned incarnation of an advisor to Jaret, a king of storms. Court Sorcerers were powerful wielders of the arcane and diabolical manipulators of the mind. I am not sure, I think we've already read that. And School Bat, a small brown bat, its particular four pattern make it looks as if its head is a skull. Somewhat poisonous, yes. All of the drops reviewed. 130 taken down. Okay, and just like that we get through the second page of the bestiary. There's a castle there, but let's go down another dungeon. I don't know if I like it. Okay, we are putting in or putting on the lantern charm. Kind of expecting new enemies here. The ruined temple. And what is this? A wall of light? Yeah. I do not think I can interact with this just yet. This looks eerily familiar to um, to these doors that are there in Dark Souls 1 that prevent you from going to four major bosses of the game before you acquire the, 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 the King's Vessel, is that what it's called? I don't remember. And another castle, is it the same castle? I'm afraid this might be a dead end. Dome of the Forgotten. Ooh, this place is extremely pretty. 
Look at the ornamental mosaic in the background. Awesome. Pile of underside. What is this? Oh, these types of platforms. Um, a potion of underside. The ability to see that which lurks in a dimension too ethereal to be perceived by mortal vision. Huh. Huh. Will we be able to use it in order to see what's behind the mist that requires that one brand that we don't have, clearly? Okay. Amazing treasure. Attack the chest and attack the chest. Are there mimics in this game? Oh, it's a disgusting squid. Get away from me. <laughs> so there are stone alchemist. Now I wonder what the animation plays if you interact with it without knowing what you're doing. I remember I was wondering whether the whether mimics are are in this game. And then I stopped checking. And now we know. Well, we'll have to be cautious about... Oh, a sanctuary. Now we'll have to be caution, cautious about every single chest that we discover. Regarding our creed, regarding our um, religion, our devotion, I am vibing with the three, as I've mentioned. The uh, Light of Devara seems to be something specific to priests or clerics, because in that one sanctuary that we have for that um, religion, there is this um, priest character there. While in the... Um, while in the... Um, the place where we killed the Mad Alchemist, we have uh, the forest um, worshipping dudes and they have like an alchemist in their um, sanctuary. So I'm not necessarily vibing with potion making and poison or um, praying right now. And the three definitely seems like something a knight errant like myself should choose for now. I don't know what's, what's up ahead. An item. Amber Idol. What did those do? Let me refresh my memory. Oh, the transmutation material. Okay. In that case, let's explore this new and exciting area. Oh my goodness. Okay, not very tough, but relatively tough. Definitely scary looking. It's like a bug in an armor with a bow. Uh, in our bestiary. Leprous, is that it? No, oh, these are the guys that we've encountered at the last, uh, at the begin, uh, at the end of the last episode. Um. A drowned bandit infested with grey rot. Grey rot tends to inflict entire communities, and every community reacts to it in a bit, a bit differently. The leprous bandits invented an entire religion around the affliction, including an invented backstory for the appointed god, a complex system of sin and atonement, and unspeakable ceremonies. Okay. Are the leprous somehow related to the creed worshipping um, the forest? Possibly. Hornet steel? Yes, sir. An armored winged guardian of the Dome of the Forgotten. When the Inquisitor purged the Dome of Light of Sin, he brought with him several hornet steels to ensure that the newly cleansed lambs adhere to the Inquisitor's 
sinless standard. Sinless standard, that's a sentence. Stone mage and the file of underside. I do believe I do wonder how this file works. For now, I have yet to in oh, uh oh, oh, I see. Okay, I understand. Oh, hidden enemies. That's not good. Whisperman's ashes. Oh my goodness! Go away! Are they respawning indefinitely or was that just another shadow that attacked me? Another Whisperman. Okay. You know what, let's assume that we got rid of that guy and check out the item that maybe shines some light on what we are just experiencing. Whisperman's ashes, ashes of a Whisperman, a fragment of holy memories trapped in the dome of the Forgotten. These poor souls are now doomed for eternity to wander their place as of solace as prisoners. Okay. Maybe an entry for a Whisperman? Yep. <laughs> no model displayed. A former member of the Congregation of the Dome of Light made the first lamb by the untouched Inquisitor who saw sin on them. Silent and forgotten, they roamed the halls, their place of solace now, an eternal prison. Maybe I should use the vial. This is scary. Okay, nicely done. Flintlock shot and flintlock pistol. Oh, we get a gun. We get a gun ourselves. That's awesome. It's not here, I believe it's in this category. Yes, flintlock pistol, class one flintlock, dexterity sc scaling. How about a crossbow? Do we have a crossbow? Because I'm upgrading. Um, yes, we do have. It has also dexterity scaling. I'm upgrading um, strength, so I, I, I could be using a crossbow, but sadly it uses uh, dexterity and not strength. Maybe, yeah, maybe different types of crossbow use different things, uh, different scalings. Flintlock pistol, a simple lever action pistol that utilizes a flintlock mechanism to ignite a charge of black powder, propelling forth a cluster of small projectiles. Mass produced with quality materials by a reputable gunsmith, this weapon is designed to fire a variety of ammunition types, including elemental and poison loads, in addition to standard lead shots. Interesting. I see something there. Is this a... A whisperer? Or a whisper man? <laughs> Yes. Yes, it is. What are they called once again? Whisper Man. That's the flying dude. It's pretty durable. But let's use the. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. So, Kurei Moa is not the weapon to use against these guys. Pitch fire. A painted pot of the sticky black stuff, when it when lit, it burns with a hellish ferocity. I believe we've seen that item uh, in the inventory of some merchants. I don't know if going right was the right decision, haha. -ha. 
Actually, this looks uh, rather complicated, so let's go left first. Yeah, we came from the left, so I associate the left with like the start of this area. I want to hit the wall, basically. Yeah, see? Hmm. Not a mimic. Scorpion set. We've got a lot of armor sets, I have to say. Mikther, heavy padded plate helm of a... Uh, the Desert Sentry, Royal Guard to Kulk'as, or Kulka'as. Hmm. Class 4 heavy armor. Yeah, very heavy. Heavy padded plate armor of the Desert Sentry. Why did I change the tab? I cannot explain to you. I was trying to, yeah, see my stats, whether they, they are affected in any way. It doesn't seem so. Um, yeah, played Gauntlet, Desert Sentry, and played Greaves. A limited amount of text in this one. Uh, I am so tempted. Okay, just use this. Okay, nothing changed. <laughs> I was so curious whether we could uh, now see the <laughs> the platforms, the hidden platforms. Another flying enemy. Okay, we totally missed the chest, but it's not a mimic. Oh, merchant gear, that's nice. That must have like drop rate bonuses, right? Or some gold bonuses. Um, light armor, drop rate not affecting, not being affected. And stats also, no. Fez, an ornate felt cap worn by merchants as a symbol of their trade. Sporting this flashy accessory in any other setting might indicate wealthy wealth and status, but here it simply uh, paints a brightly colored target on one's otherwise exposed head. Plated skirt of fine silk, popular among merchants as a touch of exotic flair. Smooth fabric offers exceptional comfort and impeccable style, both invaluable assets to an aspiring trader, not necessarily a warrior, huh? Um, worn by merchants to convey a fine professional air, although fully functional and in fact quite practical for keeping the hands clean, they are also regarded by some as a pretentious display of unnecessary ostentation. Um, and the jacket favored by merchants for cultivating a respectable image. It provides a normal advantage at the negotiating table, but offers no meaningful protection on the field of battle. I definitely prefer these elaborate um, descriptions to this just, you know, dry... Oh, this is plate armor of somehow someone you don't know. No lore behind this, guys. And there is, uh, you know, flair and... Uh, thought put into the other one, I, I feel. Ooh, a titan. So we are back to interacting with those dudes. Nothing down there. Jump back immediately. We are experienced in fighting those. What I'm doing is AI manipulation, I guess. A lot of salt from that dude. I believe it was over 1k. An elevator. I don't think I can jump on to that. Yeah. 
great platforming that will get me killed surely. Well, I fell, but not to my death. That is like a, a welcome change in the falling department. Oh, I see someone there. Oh! Did they teleport? Did they jump to me? Oh! What is happening? Get rid of them! <laughs> Ooh, a checkpoint. I will... Take that. That's a checkpoint, right? Golden stone ring. Yeah. A topaz ring, it's it's banned. Once gold has turned into something otherworldly, increase your defense to lightning damage. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, and look at the mist down below. It's totally... Um... Oh. Jesus. Oh, and it's a bronze knight and he has a different weapon than the other bronze knights. So much happening. So much falling down, uh, floor... Falling apart under our feet. So, so much, so much stuff. Yeah, this is totally a brand that I need to progress in this area. You come here, I will parry your ass. Understandable, have a nice day. I will. I, I managed to parry him, um, but there was another enemy. And the hidden one. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I will use a file. Another file here. So we will be able to see those guys, right? Oh yeah, he's there. Oh! Weird ass mobs. Okay. I want to pair you. Absolutely disintegrated. Okay, so a confirmation. Um, a confirmation bronze knights do indeed use different weapons. I... I, I don't like this. I don't like this. Not yet. I, I want to explore this area more thoroughly. File of Underside. Nice. I will need that. Not another boss fight so soon. I think I wish to find a sanctuary in order to spend my salt and also... To explore this area more thoroughly, I did fall down here. Yeah, these enemies. I will swing, swing some more. Yeah, that's why. Because I don't know whether I killed all of them. More files. But for now, we are dealing with them in this brutish... ...manner. Yeah, I, I saw you. There's one behind me, too? No? Okay, that was it. Oh, there is one more dude. Where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ugh. More platforming, this does not bode well. Ah, we are doing it. 
Oh, I'm back here, huh? Okay, so we can't go up. Can we, like, fall down? I don't want to kill myself. In the game, obviously. There's an elevator there, I, I guess. I, I guess we'll have to do with the ball. We'll have to deal with the boss. No other way around it, huh? I mean, we, we, we got the shortcut. And the Bronze Knight shouldn't be a problem anymore because he's like a mini boss, so he will not respawn. I'm a little bit spooked by another boss fight uh, being here, appearing so soon, but oh. Wait a minute. He's totally. He's totally not dead. I believe there are more enemies here in this area. Yep, there is someone behind me. Ooh, close. We lost one healing potion, but that is fine. A-okay. Okay. By judging by the number of um, candles on the candelabra, this may not. This might not be the most challenging boss in the world. Let's hope we can get rid of him swiftly the untouched inquisitor oh okay do doing weird stuff 35 with this, more with this, I believe. Okay, that's a scary attack. Let's move out of the way. Still get hit. Okay, we are powering through. Still hit us. Don't know the timings for those just yet. Managed to dodge that and this. Two hits, get away. Stun locked him. Get out of the corner, friend. Okay. We are trading with him. Not the hardest boss, it seems, for now. Hope I don't speak too soon and there is phase two with a completely different health bar. Okay, the dome. Defeat the untouched Inquisitor. Okay, and we get his ashes. Oof. So that wasn't scary at all. A Lord's Order. Okay. I think we are... We've kind of... Uh, maybe you should be exploring this area before uh, Hager's Cavern, because this boss uh, was definitely not as difficult as Hager himself. Okay. Another boss. Enjoyable fight. He had a little bit uh, limited moveset. Uh, but we somehow pulled through. Without really knowing it. It being the moveset. Let's, let's read the bestiary entry. That was an inquisitor. What was your... 
Mimku? Who is that? Oh, a ravenous tentacled kraken, the Mimku, are experts of camouflage, capable of convincingly disguising themselves as a variety of inanimate objects. A variety? Does that mean that a Mimku can change into a door and we walk up to a, a door and it eats us? That would be awesome. Unfortunately, the Mimku on this island learned fairly quickly that mimicking and, and sighting chess is the surest way to get fed. Ah, okay. So maybe we will not be meeting door Mimkus. The Untouched Inquisitor. Alas, there, true priest of light, voice of her voice, the Untouched Inquisitor, a holy man who saw in the in what was once called the Dome of Light, he saw to it that with sin was made sacrifice so that the untouched could flourish. The first lamb was the congregation, the second lamb was Linnea, the Dome's Lady of Light, and the third lamb was Quinoa, her beloved pet. Quinoa, like this rice? <laughs> this type of a uh, rice? Mm. Okay. And also the ashes. And an order. Mm, sealed combat orders delivered from a lord. They would have been held by a knight or officer. Used by a blacksmith. So this is, I believe, a pretty um, important and uh, high level leveling material, huh? The Untouched Inquisitor's Ashes. Look at how they squeezed that, squeezed that long uh, title into the box. Ashes of Alasdair, the Untouched Inquisitor. He saw sin in the Dome of Light and through his unquestionable zeal um, was able to cleanse the Dome of Sin. In a world so wicked are not the selfless acts of holy men necessary to allow righteousness to flourish. You might have a point, but I still see a lot of weird creatures in here. I believe the cleansing was not finished, my friend. Let's open the shortcut. Crystal Sphere. Mm-hmm. Nice, an item over here. Please don't fall down, I'm... doing weird stuff. There is a chest there. How does one... And there is... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I cannot play for the life of me. Oh! Is this a... Yes, it is. That was a mage whisper, man. Bronze Axe Knight. Oh, a, s a totally separate entity. A well-armored axe-wielding knight. The armor these guardians bear is completely unlike any form from the continents. Whisper Lady, huh? A former member of the Choir of the Dome of Light made the first lamb by the untouched Inquisitor who cleansed the Dome, the dome of Sin. As I have just said, some more cleansing would be required to truly get rid of all of the pests here. I'm doing the duty, I'm doing this. Another Bronze Knight. Rowan Crozier. That looks like a stuff. Oh, I have that already. That is funny. We get two separate ones? I don't believe I... Maybe I dropped it off of someone? Maybe in the Red Hall of Pain? I don't believe... It... I don't remember how we got it. Maybe you are able to drop it off someone. 
Okay, we won't get there for now. Let's use the other ladder. And please provide me with a sanctuary so I can spend this ungodly amount of souls. Salt. Um, oh, of course. This is not good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I cannot see what is happening. I'm using this. Come back. Come down to my level, lady. Okay, Mr. Ghost. Go away. I had to use a file for you. So you are flying all over the place. Another mysterious platform. I am really struggling with ledges today. Bag of salt. And these guys, huh? Let's heal. Okay. Let's not try parrying as we have low resources and it would be unwise to die now. I could have sworn there was another that just flew away. It's a wise decision. We would have turned him into ashes. A shortcut. Nice. This is what you get for being greedy. <laughs> At this point, I cannot be salty about something like this. No gamer rage when I'm doing questionable stuff. Let's not lose all of that. Precious salt. I'm not doing this again. This happens in every episode. I fall down and then I lose my salt. This is unacceptable. It just keeps on happening. I'm changing my weapon. get something from her outside of gold no 200 is a good amount though it was uh, worth it to come down the ladder i am struggling with grabbing the edges in this episode i repeat myself once again oh this definitely doesn't work yeah, this is nice. More ashes. Oh, yes. Give it back to me, boy. I don't know how to get that item just yet. The sanctuary for a weary traveler? No is the answer, apparently. This looks like, a, like this looks like another boss fight, but I don't see a candelabra. Oh my goodness! Mace not good, tried great axe. I don't have it. Try using lightning. I don't want to fight another boss with 40k on me. That's ridiculous. A sanctuary, hello, maybe, is this a good, I think it is, might be, I might be able to, don't fall down, this might lead back to the beginning, maybe we don't need a new sanctuary, we just need an old sanctuary, 
You stay there. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, okay, this is totally fine. We are getting this sold back. I I, I promise. I promise we, we are not gonna lose it. We are not gonna lose it. Jesus. Jesus, please no. Spare me. Hmm. We are we are coming back. We are coming through. I refuse to just lose all of that stuff. Totally could have performed a strong attack on that guy. Bronze Axe, Knight's Ashes. Not something we have, I believe. It is peculiar that these guys respawn and the guys in the early game don't. Ashes of a Bronze Knight, one of the mysterious Kraken Guardians patrolling the island, their origin, purpose and allegiances remain unknown to this day, though they seem to hunt down, drowned and living alike. Well, yeah, they, they totally don't mind the inhabitants of this area, right? And they were totally vibing with these um, dog bears or wolf bears in the village of Smiles. So I don't know about that, sir. They seem to hate me in particular. Where was my salt? Give me my salt back. Okay, is this a wall of which I can perform parkour? It is, but like... <clears throat> Dude, I just want a sanctuary. Oh. Again, we were this close from losing salt again. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm taking my stuff and I'm going home to a sanctuary that appreciates me and the fact that I want to level up in peace. Let's go to the Village of Smiles. This time, 50k, bro. Let's talk with you. Because I believe... Oh, Whisperman, okay. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five five offerings that we can make i wonder if we complete one of those do we get a new one one two three four five okay whisperman's ashes okay i can get another red flask that's insane i mean why wouldn't i what is this restore fatigue let's just take one maybe Do I need this? Imperial Pitchfire and Imperial Shockstone. Maybe these items are similar to what I already have, but maybe you can use them indefinitely. Maybe they are... Um, they infinitely um, replenish uh, in our sanctuary. That would be interesting. Let's see... Yeah, I totally have shock stones. It does the same thing. 
spice me. Yeah, did, did you see that icon? I totally believe you can keep using them. Okay, let's try. Let's try to take the pitch fire. By my opening my bestiary repeatedly. Okay, wh where is the pitch fire? Maybe I have to rest. Yeah. Okay. Now use it. Yeah, zero. Okay, that's cool. So it's just a buff. Oh, that's useful. Okay. Maybe I should have taken the lightning one because uh, right before this boss fight that we have ahead of us, there was a note to use uh, lightning, right? I don't think I need more than one. I, I, I can only assume that it is temporary and it this buff uh, runs out eventually. Let's buy something. What do you have? You should have new stuff. Corsairs, Corsairs back sword. Yeah, that is new. Now this is new, but not that impressive. Okay, yeah, uh, they totally, yeah. Okay, okay. Well. I don't think I will need this on my bar. Let's uh, place shards here and the antidote, not the antidote, the file here. And let's attempt the boss, at least check it out, huh? I'm totally uh, using the wrong NPCs, what am I doing? Okay. Mire of Stench. No, Dome of the Forgotten, definitely. That was a poison area. Dude, what am I doing? And I've totally forgotten to use my salt. Good thing that I looked down on five levels. Insane. Use it all. We are going up against the boss. Uh, tree of skill. Okay, more strength, uh, willpower that gives us focus, stamina, attack, really. I'm not sure. Drop rate also. And class 4 sword fighter, yeah, that gives us two points of strength. Wait, no. Let's see. That barely does anything for us, I think. Barely increases the damage. Maybe there are diminishing returns, but I, I want to uh, get this anyway, right? Class 5 Sword Fighter, and maybe that will be the stopping point for strength. Not sure. Maybe there are diminishing returns in this game. A little bit more of endurance, always appreciated. A little bit more of endurance. Will this allow me... 77. Still far away, guys. 
I will. Let's not fret. Let's go through the platforming once again. Oh yeah, these guys are here. Oh. Oh, I see more. No. That was the end of them. You go down, we are getting back up. He's like uh, shooting holy arrows. Let's use the shard, we don't need a full heal. Where was the boss again? Ignore you, sorry friend. Oh, I guess I cannot ignore you. Yeah, that barely increased our damage. That barely did anything. Just hitting a little bit stronger now. Okay, let's see the boss. A lot of a lot is happening, so mm, try using lightning and mace not good, try gray axe, great axe. Let's use this in that case. And let's use uh, what we've just gotten. The pitch fire, let's go. The third lamb, oh, that, that's the uh, Kinoa guy. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Poison, huh? Now I'm poisoned. Okay, that's a weird attack. This is a, an opening. Okay. Totally run into that one. That's a new one. Oh, I was trying to outrange it, but I guess it's impossible. It's not so easy to get behind this dude. Hey, what is this? What is happening? Okay, let's calm down. Oh. An instantaneous attack right behind him. Oh, we are trying to get behind him, but he is ready most of the time. He's spamming. I cannot find my opening. But I'm tanking through. Oh my god, what is happening? I'm being juggled around. Terrible gameplay too. By yours truly. I do not learn. I, can, I just keep getting hit by these attacks. Oh my god, we somehow got him, but that was, that was disgusting. That was truly disgusting, that performance. Oh my goodness, I am not happy with myself at all. The third lamb's beak.
I am not happy with myself at all. We just basically tanked through everything that he had to... He had uh, against us, right? Kind of disgusting. I would kind, I kind of wish I could repeat that fight. We basically stat checked that guy. Mr. Kinoa Rice. The third lamb's beak, beak of the third lamb, old guard of the dome of the forgotten, a hippogriff who once patrolled the skies protecting pilgrims to the dome from raiders and bandits. She was made to sacrifice her will in service of the Inquisitor. Okay. It's a she. The third lamb, here she is. A shadow of her former glory. The third lamb is the bound and broken throw of the untouched Inquisitor. There was a time when this hippogriff had primed the praise of her master and the name, but the Inquisitor saw sin in these things and saw, it, saw to it that they became sacrifices like the lamb itself. Yeah, if you, if you look closely, only the lower half of her body is covered in feathers. I I wish I could repay, replay this fight to truly not only appreciate the gameplay but also how the boss looks and operates. Oh. Oh, this is another brand. I can already see the um, fire behind him. Okay. The air, it's so still. I was drawn to this dome for reasons I don't understand. It's so lonely here, I long for a friend, but I think I've driven everyone I've loved away. Tell me, have you heard of Hard Light? Uh, let's for the very first time in this playthrough say no, because I don't believe I did. Or I have. Well then, let me tell you. Please explain. Hard Light has been described as not unlike crystallized moonbeams. It can only be seen and touched by those that possess a hard light brand. But even those unable to touch hard light will see its traces. Okay, that's the mist. Hard light. You'd like that brand, wouldn't you? Well, who would say no to that? Yes, as I thought. Well, it's, it's as simple as that. Except this brand. Easy. Hard light brand, just like this. You come here to think too, don't you? I enjoy solitude, of course, but you're always welcome to join me. I like to think about how meaningful my actions are. Making real change, that's what I bring to this world. This guy is mysterious. What exactly do you mean, though? Hardlined brand, a word of power carried in a brand bearing the brand grants its owner power over matter. Were it to imbue your torch with a light, allowing you to render blue ar arcane matter, matter tangible. So that's how you do it. You use your torch. Oh, that's cool. I love the sound effect. So I guess we'll have to stock up on torches. I don't want to be running out of uh, torches. Okay. I, I was about to comment this guy is not here the flying bug with a bow but we did not reset the area this is true were there any pieces of hard light up there that i could interact with before we leave this area let's see is it this hard light i don't think it is no Hard light, hard light.
none here. I do feel bad about the boss. I wanted to have a fair and square fight with it. But I guess my build really helps in just powering through stuff. With this hard light, though, I think we'll be able to totally... Can I get this item, though? Can one get this item, though? How do you get there? Oh my god, I'm... I'm about to fall into to my death once again. <sighs> yep. <laughs> it might uh, require a little bit more uh, precise manu maneuvering. Okay, well, unfortunate once again. Let's get our souls back and get, I believe we are, will be um, pushing through this area. Look at these guys. No, I'm not interesting, uh, interested. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh no, my souls. This was a terrible mistake. Well, what can I say? This is what you get uh, for rushing things in this game. This always happens and I never, and I repeat, I never learn. Um, in that case, this will mark uh, the end of the episode. Um, at the beginning of the next one, you will see a magical cat and I will appear when I want to be. Um, when I will want to start the very next episode, but that's going to be it for th today, though. Um, an insane progress, I, I have to say. Uh, two separate boss fights, one against the Inquisitor and one against the Hippogriff. Um, a little bit bummed about the second one because I wanted a fair and square fight when I perform well and, you know, dodge the attacks and feel like I'm, you know, winning the fight by being uh, a better player and not by a stronger player. Um, but what can you do, right? And at the very end, our new brand that will probably require a lot of backtracking in the areas that we've previously visited, I do remember a lot of this matter, um, flying this mist, uh, flying around in many, many places. Well, but for now, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, like, comment and subscribe, but only if you feel like it. But it is always greatly uh, appreciated. See you in the very next one. Bye bye.